Hare Krishna, welcome back, Rinda Sundari. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So I had this dude walk by and say, I really want to know, look at my hand and tell me, when will I find this new girlfriend? And then I remember you mentioned putting the horse before the cart. <laughs> and I was just like, tell me something more about it, Rinda Sundari. Putting the, putting the cart before the horse. Right. Yeah. 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 Repeating it. Um, yeah. In life, we may want an outcome before actually looking at what comes before an outcome. So when we want something in life, we look at why we want that thing and what we're going to do to, to achieve or accomplish that thing. So sometimes we're looking at the product of effort instead of looking at what the effort it takes and why we want that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This person was so lost. He was just like, I just want a new girlfriend. But why? Because, you know, my girlfriend dumped me and I need to get a new girlfriend. But he really wasn't sure or clear what his relationship, what is he really wanted of a relationship? What kind of a person should he be this time so that he doesn't go through the same things? He wasn't really putting the horse in the right place, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. If you look at that analogy, the horse is the one that has the energy to pull a cart. And so sometimes we may, we may, it, I'm reminded of, of be, do, have that paradigm. And we may think, well, I want this thing. So I want to have this thing. We're not, we're not remembering that we need to be in being and then take the action steps right. doing and have that outcome of having. And so um one practice is to be to to get clear with ourselves what we want um why we want it and what is it good for us so especially with when it comes to a partner or a spouse i think astrology is really important too because we can look at what kind of person we are what's our nature and what and for a long term what will actually be good for us to help balance us and stabilize us what kind of person mm. and then what we can offer to that person in turn as well and that just but but you know the people like this person or many people would say no let me find the girl then i will have enough you know that we do have the other way around right have to be so they want to have the girl then they will do things to make it be a good relationship so what would what do you think could happen in this circumstance? This guy just jumps into the first girl that crosses with a blue gopi dress. <laughs> I want him, I want him, I want this girl to be my girlfriend. What do you think happens? What, what like imagine this guy comes to you and tells you that? What would you how would you scare him? <laughs> first of all, she could totally reject him. Oh. <laughs> so he'll experience some rejection. Or he'll learn. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. There's this phrase, throw spaghetti on the wall and see if it sticks. And I'll be honest, I've, I've never really liked that phrase because it's so, it feels so sloppy, right? So like we could learn by just being sloppy. We could learn. We could learn our lessons through flailing around and seeing if it works. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we could just... You know, we can experience pain again and again. Like Prabhupada says, we can get kicked by the donkey. We can kicked by the, the male donkey gets kicked by the she donkey. We can get kicked over and over again. Um, and we can learn that way or we can never learn that way. But uh, sadhva, more like higher modes of living are when we, when we take time to consider before we actually take action. Yeah. And, and, and it, you know, not that we're avoiding pain, but we are functioning in a way that reduces unnecessary pain. Yeah. We can waste a lot of energy on on situations where if we had given it some pause and thought before we do it, then we wouldn't have gotten ourselves entangled in a dramatic life draining circumstance. So, yeah, this reminds me of in the kingdom of our life. 
this ability to discern, to discriminate, when to let go, when to work on something is Saturn. Saturn is that strength of the army within the kingdom. So for more videos about it or articles, you can see in the link description below, you will find more. But yeah, this is the Saturn, right? The ability to wait for the right job, maybe, right? For relationship. And I think it also, mm, the way you brought it up about sticking to the wall, it's also de it also depends on our personality type, like our Enya Dharma. <laughs> this is our new book. We have a new book called Enya Dharma. Check out in the link. So this is about finding your Dharma based on your Enneagram type. So this is a Vedic approach to Enneagram. This can also help you immensely to see if you're stressing yourself or you're going in a healthy direction of trying to determine what is your horse, and where do you need to put it and what are your priorities. So we look forward to be of service to you. So if you'd like a consultation or join one of our sessions and group coaching, please do connect with us. Thank you for watching this video. Hare Krishna.